Today we're going to give an overview of the document management module in Epicor 10.1. This module allows you to, de to define file types for attaching information to your records. Any files that you defined are stored on a shared server location or a SharePoint site. We'll walk through the steps needed to start using the document management while working with the Epicor 10.1 software. This slide shows an outline of the steps to start using the document management software. First, you're going to want to define your document location in the company maintenance screen. Next, you're going to set up the document types and, if needed, the document type controls. Before you add different attachments, you're going to want to define items in the document association maintenance screen to allow you to view and or print each type of document. The document type metadata menu item is used to set up if you're using a SharePoint location for your documents. And yes, there is a document management menu item in the document management module. And this menu item is used to set up links to external files. For examples, if you wanted to set up terms and conditions and certification files, they might be defined here. Next, you define your document location in the, in the company maintenance screen on the attachment sheet. Documents can be shaved on a shared server location, which is the first option here. The, the default base location is filled in if you're going to use a shared server location. If you choose the file system option, you have a choice of two f file transfer modes, the drop down box below the file system location. The file transfer modes that you can choose from are using a transfer service or using a client system direct copy. Using the service option uses a Windows service and application pool which then uses that Windows service as the security. The client direct copy option will enforce security on the shared file location for attaching and viewing files. So within the server location you would set up folders within there for certain uh, users to be able to have security to that specific directory. Additional settings can also be applied in the document type maintenance screen for specific documents as needed for sensitive documents. Selecting the SharePoint option means you'll need to enter the SharePoint site address. In addition, you can also click the Create Site Library button to create a specific area to store your documents. Choosing the Allow Default Document checkbox allows users to right-click the Tree View node in the Windows, where, Windows Forms where attachments can be added to a record and then attach a file to that record. The method drop-down for the default documents defines how the default documents will be stored, either in the file system, in the SharePoint integration, or as an attachment link. This is a continuation of defining your document location. This shows that the location that we had defined in our training database shows we have the C path and the files output to the path shown here. And as you can see, we have duplicate subfolders, so you probably don't want to include the company in the path since Epicor automatically adds it. In addition, we had defined the C drive in our default base location, and this is the C drive on the server in our case. So make sure when you define that path, you do some testing to make sure the files are going where you expect them to, and if not, make the changes you need for the path when you define your document location. Setting up document types. That's found under System Management, Document Management, and Document Type Maintenance. You need to define a type ID and a description. Then you can also 
use the storage type drop down and it has the same three options that were in the company setup as far as file system or SharePoint location or file attach attachment link. In addition, it has a fourth option that's called collaboration, which is specific for a SharePoint document. Documents can be saved, as mentioned, on one of those shared locations or as an attachment. If you choose the file system option for the storage type dropdown, you can choose to use the same settings for the file transfer mode in the dropdown, or you can change the option to instead of saying always use the company level setting, you can also choose the client system direct copy. So you can have it set at the company one default and then have it changed in the document type to another default if you need um, different areas for your documents and sensitivity. Fill in the base URL for the storage types of file system or attachment link if you're not going to use what's already in the company and then the tree view node image allows you to pick an image to represent the document in the tree. Checking the reserved checkbox for specific tables means you will limit where this document type can be used via the document type control screen. The required for receipt or shipment checkboxes indicate if this document type will be used when the part record has the receipt documents required checked and or the part record has the shipment documents required checkbox checked. The document type control. This menu and items found in the system management, document management, document type control. Here's where you can limit the tables that have the option for the document types that you previously defined. You'll use the table button to search for and select the tables that will use the document type that you select in the drop down box. Check the box to expose in the tree to allow a separate node to be shown for this document type when you expand the tree. In this example we're showing the table customer is the only table that would have availability to the document type cust link and we do have the checkbox checked for exposing in the tree. So customer or cust link document type will have a separate node in the tree. Here's an example of the tree nodes that are shown for the customer screen. A right click on the attachment brings up the attachment properties dialog box. In this example we can see there are several types of customer linked documents and it, the customer linked documents has its own separate node. The JPEG has a separate node and the PDF has a separate node. Right clicking on the attachments node itself brings up the attachments dialog box shown on the right. If you right click on one of the specific document type nodes, the document type drop down box is pre filled and the document automatically will be in that node. For example, if you right click on customer link documents, that will automatically be filled in the, the drop down box on the right that says document type will automatically show customer link documents. And then you would browse to where the document is that you want to bring into Epicor and then you would put in a title. The document association maintenance screen is found under system management, document management, and document association. You can define file associations in the programs that open each file. So first you'll define the extension for the document along with the description and then you'll fill in the view command for the program that will be used to open the attachments for viewing. Also, if you expect users to print the document, you should fill in the print command. Use your examples from the Epicor train environment to help you see what commands should be for viewing and printing for some of the example associations. Be careful to use the correct syntax in order to be able to use these commands correctly. And make sure the version is the same for Office that you have as the example or change the paths as appropriate. The document type metadata screen is found under document management document type metadata and this screen is used to define how documents and tables interact with a SharePoint site library. You'll define all the different 
values shown here as they relate to SharePoint for a specific table in Epicor. You can define the SharePoint column names and display name and the uh, database mapping. You can also check the o allow override checkbox and that will allow the user to override the metadata before it's saved to the SharePoint site. So as mentioned, Epicor has a document management menu item within the document management module. And this is where you will set up references to external files used in your document management. This is especially useful for documents used for certification and terms. Epicor automatically creates a reference number for files attached with the right click option when you're adding an, an attachment in the customer form for example. However to add an external file reference on your own you would click the new button, choose the type from the drop down list and enter the path in the file name and the description in the description box. If you need to make changes to your document you can change the document as needed and the file should be updated within Epicor. So we hope you learned a little more about the overview shown here today of the document management system in Epicor 10.1. Be sure to test some of these options out in your test or pilot environment while the information is fresh in your mind. Verify that things work as you expect, that your files output to the location you expect, and that you have your associated file types set up and document types set up. Start with just a few to verify things and then add more options after you're comfortable with the way your initial documents are set up. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.